How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and Don't Starve Together recently got the Winter's Feast update for 2017. It introduces some new features and character skins and this video is going to be focused on those new character skins. I went ahead and bought them and I'm just going to give you a brief run through of the various different skins that are available now for this Winter's Feast and sort of show you what they're like in action. So to get started with, the price for the entire chest is $9.99 USD or your regional equivalent I imagine. I went ahead and topped up my Steam wallet before buying this, so I didn't have to go into any of that. It just immediately gave me the, uh, you know, immediately purchased it. And as you can see here, it's a chest reminiscent of the new Deer Claps skin design. If you haven't seen the new Deer Claps skin, it's pretty awesome. So these are just all of the current skins that are available. You have skins that are available for the Snowfallen. You have Wilson, you have Willow, you have Wicker Bottom, and. There is Wendy and Weber. And lastly, we have Wolfgang. So there you can see all six of them. Now this is a little bit more expensive than the Forge skins, but these are much nicer skins, I think. So here I'm just going ahead and you know, equipping all of my characters with their new skins, just to give you an idea of the different parts that are included, sort of what they look like on the character. And yeah, I suppose it's not all that necessary since you can pre-examine them without actually owning any of them, but I just decided to do it for the sake of being complete. But uh, like I said before, some people have mentioned that these skins are not quite as, or there aren't quite as many of these skins as there are or were for the Forge event. And while that is true, I would say it, I think these are a lot more distinctive. A lot of the characters got like a different color hair, which is like one of the first times we saw their entire hair color change. And that, that it introduces some interesting options going into the future. Obviously, characters like WX might have a little bit more trouble with that, but nah, I think you could make an all entirely white painted WX for winter. I think that'd be doable. Uh, Willow and Wendy did not get white hair. Pretty much all the other characters that they introduced, the other four characters did. It's like there's Wicker Bottom's white hair. Uh, people have commented on her appearance being a striking similarity to that of uh, Elsa from Frozen, which was an interesting decision. I hope, I hope we don't have a repeat of the Forge or if somebody comes after them over copyright infringement or anything like that. Um, yeah. Weber has to be my favorite. I just love his little white snowball head. It's so perfect. And he also has like Tam O'Shanter and striped Scottish scarf around his neck. So yeah, I'd say Weber's probably my favorite here out of these outfits, but they're all pretty awesome with their new white theme. And here he is reading his carol. So that's the new emote. If you go ahead and lock an entire outfit or an ensemble, I suppose as they call it. As you can see, you have all the ensembles here now for the winter feast and the reward for even unlocking one of them is the carol emote and they pull a little book and read it so in addition to that i went ahead and actually got some footage of these skins in action i thought i don't know some people like to be able to cut them out and whatnot so here you have pretty much the full range of motion against the backdrop that i thought was pretty neutral pretty easy to you know photoshop them out of it's not a green screen but <laughs> it's the only thing i had available at the time so, in regards to why there are only six characters this time, Clay did elaborate on this, and it appears it does come down to largely a time constraint. Uh, it appears that they perhaps bit off a bit more than they could chew releasing this update, and it was a little bit rushed, so they couldn't get all the characters done. So they instead went for six of the most popular, I suppose you could call them. And... They said that in the future they would be prioritizing, including the ones that were left out here. And I, th I think a lot of people were really hurting for a WX and a Wigfrid, and we didn't get uh, Winter's Feast skins for them. So that should be coming in the future. They said maybe next uh, Winter's Feast, that those could be characters you would expect to see as part of the skin set. And I guess that sort of also gives players a little something to look forward to with the next feast. If they have that planned out this far in advance, sort of gives you something to remember to come to. Come to, it doesn't sound right, does it? Um, come back to, to the game for, right? 
So that I think is a lot of it. I will probably try to do some some like coverage of the entire event because there are a lot of other cool, really cool things I think that have been added, uh, like uh, seasonal boss skins. So the the dragonfly, the deer clops, uh, the moose goose, and berger have all got their own winter skins, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's for the Winter's Feast event, obviously. So that, I think that would definitely be worth taking a look at. There's some other really smaller, but nonetheless cool little additions that were made in the 2017 Winter's Feast over the 2016 Winter's Feast, so I think they'll be worth covering as well. But I didn't quite have enough time to do that. Here we have Weber, my favorite of all the skins. Uh, but I will hopefully be hopefully get around to doing that in the future. So that's actually coming to the end of this video, so... Uh, thank you very much for watching, as always, and hope to see you next time.